Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the new BMW M2. This bad boy is our new long-term test car. As you know, when we review cars, we usually keep them for a week at a time, but sometimes that's not quite enough to really get under the skin. With this bad boy, we're gonna run it for about six months so we can really learn what it's like to live with the cheapest M car. Let's go. Later on, we're gonna give you a full road review, a track review, but right now, this is just a quick unboxing so we can both get to know this particular car, see the spec, and also familiarize ourselves with the M2. Quick refresher, it's got a three liter straight six engine, 460 horsepower, rear wheel drive, thuggish looks, and of course, the all important manual gearbox. I'm lying, we ordered the automatic, but it's for a good reason. The manual is a 1,200 pound option. You gotta pay more money for the manual. So I thought I'd save a bit of cash by going for this. Also, on the previous generation M2, the automatic was an option, but 90% of people paid money to actually have the automatic. And hence, this is the people's transmission. What's the point in doing a long-term test of a car with a manual gearbox if no one's gonna buy it? Don't blame me, blame yourselves. So what about the design? This is actually one of the first times I've seen an M2 in the flesh and I've got to say, it's not the most cohesive piece of design, but it's quite striking. I do like the fact it's got these really squared off air vents on the side. The black contrasting is really nice. Although I don't like the headlights, they're a bit too sort of far apart from each other. They look like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. And also I think it was Thomas from Throttle House who said that the outside of the grill looks a bit like someone shaved their eyebrow and uh, I can't unsee that now, but it does make a nice impression. Around the side, you've got these big flared wheel arches, giving it a muscular look. It's got the traditional twin stalk M door mirrors, 19 inch wheels up front, 20s around the back. We've got the uh, carbon roof up here that looks quite nice, although I don't think it's a necessary option. And then round the back, yeah, again, weird lights, not the biggest fan, these vertical bits, I don't think are necessary. Although we have swerved a bit of a visual landmine by going for the normal exhaust, the quad exhaust, rather than the M Sport exhaust, which I'm sure sound great, but don't look amazing to me. These are pretty decent. In terms of options on this 67,000 pound BMW M2, there are seven colors to choose from, including this Brooklyn gray metallic. Only the frozen metallic colors are paid options at around two grand. There's only one design of alloy wheel, all 19s up front and 20s at the back. By the way, if you want to get your hands on your own M car, head over to autotrader.co.uk where we can help you buy and lease the latest models. Inside this M2, this car has the comfort package, which includes the comfort seats, which are finished in black Vanaska leather. The seats are also available in a cognac color, which looks quite nice, although I'm not sure it would go well with this particular gray exterior, but that's cool. You also get some carbon fiber trim on the dashboard and on the center console, which looks really nice to me. That's free, by the way. If you want the bucket seats, which I wouldn't recommend, by the way, you should get the M Racetrack package, but that costs 9,000 pounds, and it also includes the carbon fiber roof. But like I said, I wouldn't bother. These comfort seats are fantastic for daily driving by the looks of them. I'm gonna find out for sure whether that's the case, but they're gonna be a lot better than the bucket seats, believe me. This car also includes the M Drivers Package, which increases the top speed from 155 to 180 miles an hour, and it costs 2,300 pounds for a bit of software. Ridiculous but it does actually come with a free driving course where they take you to a racetrack and teach you how to get the most out of the car rather than you risking yourself on a wet roundabout somewhere. There'll be no power sliding today, I can promise you that, but what I can promise you is that we're gonna be very busy with this car. I've already booked the track session and I'm gonna insert a little teaser clip of that. and we'll do a full road test. Here's a little clip of that. Yep, we're gonna be very, very busy with this car. Head to heads, a lot is planned with the new M2. And my cat, there's my cat, he knows what's up. Question from me to you though, any questions about this car, leave them down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more action in the very near future. Bye-bye.